What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great Taco Tuesday, and you know the football season, well... It never really ends because today is actually the first day of being able to franchise tag players. We know uh, the Cowboys will probably be active in this with probably Tony Pollard, uh, at least to buy themselves some time to make sure that nobody else has an opportunity to get him. But also, too, as a stopgap measure that if they can't work out a deal, they'll have his rights at least for one more year without having to go with the long haul. There's so many different ways about going through and skinning the cat and trying to get better as a team. And we've talked about, and we will be talking about in at nauseum ways to look at getting this team better. One of the things that has truly been discussed by, you know, of course, CD lamb admits that we need more weapons for Dak Prescott and most, you know, insiders or talking heads will agree The Cowboys do need more weapons. This is no disrespect to Michael Gallup, who I think will be better next year, having a year away from the ACL injury and recovery. Um, But we need to do better than Noah Brown. Noah Brown would be a great fourth or fifth receiver. But we need somebody out there who is going to do more damage for us than what Noah Brown did. Noah Brown was our second leading receiver. I want you to let that sink in for a moment under 500 yards for the season. We have to do better. Now, last night when we were doing our live stream, it was interesting because we got into discussion about Mike Evans. Mike Evans, who's 29 years old, who's been in the league nine seasons, who has had a 1,000-yard season every single year. And the thought is, well, the Cowboys should go get Mike Evans. You know, make a trade for him and bring him in. And my thought on that is... That's not that's not the ticket for me. That's not the one because for me, you either give up one of two things, either the draft pick or the money. But if you're giving up both, then in essence, you're giving up multiple players for one guy. What do you mean by that? Well, if you are trading a draft pick for him, of course, you can't use that pick to get somebody else. Let's be clear on that. And contrary to popular belief, this person said, oh, well, you could trade for him for a third-round pick. If you could get get him for a third-round pick, by all means, I'd say do that. But let's be real here. Only the Dallas Cowboys trade receivers and take back, you know, on the cheap. A.J. Brown was a number one pick. Let's be clear here. A number one pick. Uh, Brandon Cooks, we were looking at trying to use a second for him. They wanted a first. So how you would actually think that Mike Evans, a guy who's had nine years in a row with a 1,000 yards, that he would go for a third is beyond me. Let's be real here. It would take our number one, without a doubt, because it's a late first-round pick at minimum. His contract number is 24. Now, here's where it would end up being crap. To do that would be the Joneses admitting that they screwed the pooch with Amari Cooper. Amari Cooper's contract was $4 million less a year. Amari Cooper was younger than Mike Evans. And you're now talking about giving up a draft pick. I believe that he's a little long in the tooth. Now, people will say, again, he's only 29. Well, I say that Tyron Smith is only 31, but he's got a lot of miles on him, and he's not the same guy he was a few years ago. Still not to say that Mike Evans isn't good, but keep in mind the last three years he's had Tom Brady throwing the ball to him, which is truly a throwing the ball offense. There's no guarantee that that's going to translate into this being as good here. The other problem with this is the one thing that you can look at with the Cowboys and say that they are really, really good at is drafting in the first round. Second round, not so much. But the first round, when you start thinking about guys like CeeDee Lamb and Micah Parsons and things like that, instead of going through and saying, let's trade the first round pick for a guy who's 29 years old who will also cost $24 million, 
I would actually say that you would probably be better off as the Cowboys to go through and take that first round pick and draft a quarterback, knowing how good the Cowboys have been in the first round, because at least, at least you still have that money to use on other players and go become a player in free agency. Boom. That way, you know it's a gamble in the first round pick. You know that. Any pick is a gamble. Hell, free agency is a gamble. But your first round pick will probably cost you about $4 million on the cap. That would leave $20 million in difference to use elsewhere. Um, Mind I remind you that last year, the compensation that went for Von Miller, Bobby Wagner, and Zazaria Smith was a total of $10 million. That was the cap number for the first year for those three players. The same thing that we played, Dalton Schultz. So when you start talking about how can we best suit and deal with the situation, the reality is the Jones are going to have to do something that they don't want to do. They would be better off playing in free agency than trading a number one pick for a receiver right there. Now, some people have gone through and said, well, go for DeAndre Hopkins. You know, he's, uh, you know, uh, probably maybe a second round pick and things. Yeah, but he's had a 700 yard season and a 500 and some yard season. It's been three years since he's been over a thousand. And I'm not sure that I'm ready to give up that second round pick, although we're not good with the second round picks. If I was going to go all out money wise, money wise and pick wise, it would have to be Diggs, Stefan Diggs. I would probably say, yeah, I would do that one. I'm not sure that Mike Evans is the one. Quite frankly, can't believe I'm even going to say this. I would rather, instead of going for Mike Evans, I would rather hope that Odell, if he's healed, sign Odell because he doesn't cost me a draft pick and look to try and sign him to a contract that's similar to, say, Michael Gallup's, $12 million. You look at it from that standpoint, you still have your first-round pick, and you still have money left from what it would cost to get Mike Evans. That's my logic here. Now, again, it's easy for me to go ahead and say these things because I don't have to deal with the real world of the cost of it or the ramifications of making a mistake. Any of us can go through and come up with, you know, great trade ideas and things like that, you know, and most of them are really not rooted in anything other than their imagination. There's no guarantee that the Cowboys are even thinking about trading for anybody or even thinking about signing a free agent because pretty much they don't do those things. So look for something new coming up tonight. I'm going to be working on a new segment uh, tonight. And we'll probably do that as a uh, premiere. And hopefully it goes real well. Um, I'm telling you one thing. I am digging here my new set. I absolutely positively love this setup that I have right now um, in here with the um, Ewen desk. Um, it's just like Michael put it yesterday. It's like being in an airplane cockpit where you can see everything and everything is within reach of you. I'm Mark Holmes, and, well, I appreciate each and every one of you guys as well as you ladies, and I'll see you soon.